Hi everyone, so over the next couple of weeks, me and Mrs. Story are gonna be taking you through some Easter activities as well as some other activities just to keep you going through what would have been our Easter holidays. So for today's activity, we're going to make an Easter card and you can see I've already made one. Um, and I'm just gonna try and now show you how to make it quickly. So you need some different colored pens, glue stick if you have one, um, some cotton, cotton balls or pom-poms if you have those, um, card or paper and a potato cut in half. Um, also try and get yourself some paint or some ink, whatever you can get your hands on and make sure that you have mums and dads there to help you do this. So first things first, you need to fold your card in half. So obviously you get that card look, you'll remember that from our Mother's Day cards. And then you're gonna get your potato that has been cut in half by an adult and you are then gonna cover it in your choice of paint, I don't have any paint, so I'm having to use this black ink pad right here. So I'm going to cover it over, try and give it some really good coverage. And um, you can see mine's got a few gaps from the last time I made it, um, but hopefully yours will be even better than mine. And then you're going to put the potato straight down onto the card. Now, I'm going to do it really quickly because I want to try and get my fingers out of the way. Boom and then push it down right the way. Try and get right into the corners as well. And try and think how hard you need to push it to try and get, make sure you get lots and lots of coverage. I'm trying to make sure I get no gaps in this one. Uh, and then you are going to lift it off the paper. Oh, we've got less gaps, that's good. So I've got my potato and you could leave it there, especially if you've got different colored paints and you might want to try and make a really nice pattern with the paint on the potato, which will then transfer onto the paper. Um, but if not, so then that would look like an Easter egg. But if you want to go for something a little bit different, you can see I've made a bunny rabbit. So to make my bunny rabbit, I'm going to do it a different way now because I realized I put the pink on, but that does look more like the uh, bunny rabbit's bottom, doesn't it? So I'm going to try and make sure that I do it with the back of the Easter bunny. So there's one ear. And then I said on the other one, my friend has been doing this really nice floppy ear for bunny rabbits on some designs that she's been doing and I really liked it. So I'm gonna try and keep the floppy ear on. And then get your glue and you're gonna stick your pom-pom onto the bunny rabbit so that it looks like the Bunny Rabbit's fluffy little tail, a bit like Peter Rabbit. And we know Miss Wogglers loves Peter Rabbit. So, now, pop it onto that gap. And there we go, you've got a really cute little Easter bunny. And then inside, so when you open it up, maybe leave it to dry a little bit, but if you can, open it up and then you're gonna write your message inside. And you can send your card to whoever you like, whether it be mom, dad, sisters, brothers, grandparents, I'm sure they're probably missing you at the moment, um, your neighbor next door, whoever you think you would love to give your card to. So remember you need to write who it is to, so remember your action for two, um, and then write that in. And then you're gonna write who you're gonna send it to, so I'll, send mine to my mum, so to mum. And then you are going to write who it's from. So it is from, and then you will write your name. Er, um, I'm gonna have to write that. From, and I'll write my name, Jessica. I'm gonna give her three kisses. If you can, try and challenge yourself. And in that little gap there, try and write Happy Easter if you're feeling like you can. Be a really good challenge to see if you can do that. And then at the end of it, you'll end with a really cute little Easter card made with things that you can find around the house. Um, once you've done it, please do send pictures to us on our school website page, on the Crook Primary website page, and go to the reception tab, um, and then you'll get our email address. We'd love to see what creations you can come up with. Um, and also just come and say hello again. It was lovely to hear from some of our children last time. Um, and just remember to write in the comment box as well so that we can make sure we hear from you all. Okay, have a lovely Easter. Bye.